This is a brutally honest comparison between Elementor and DV to leave zero doubt about which one is worth your money. All right, first let's answer which one is easier to use. DV has a very structured editing approach where you edit elements one by one and there are some limitations to what you can modify. Whereas Elementor lets you treat your entire page as a canvas and resize anything as needed. So this is very much a personal preference of how you'd like to design your site. Overall, I'd say both are easy to use. But I personally like Elementor because it's more flexible. Now let's talk about designing capabilities. With Elementor, you have over 300 templates, 100 plus website kits and over 100 widgets. Widgets are basically design elements that you can drag and drop onto your page. With Divi, you get over 350 templates and over 175 layout packs. Divi's version of widgets are called modules and there are over 60 to choose from. So overall, both have a lot of pre-built design elements to help you but Elementor has significantly more of them. In terms of loading speed while editing, Divi is marginally faster than Elementor and handles larger projects better. But the difference isn't that big to make Elementor a deal breaker. Bonus tip of the day, there's a free plugin called Airlift that makes any website five times faster with just a click. So check the description for a link. One big difference between the two is that DV has a lot of short codes, which increases the chances of site breaks and harms the SEO potential of the site. There are ways to manage this, but that is added effort. So it's inconvenient compared to Elementor, which is built with clean code. So you can have more peace of mind there. Now we'll discuss the price and then I'll give you the overall honest conclusion of this video. DV has no free plan, but there is a 30 day free trial. Then there's an annual plan for $89 and a lifetime plan for $249. You can build unlimited sites with either plan, but the lifetime plan is a real money saver if you're going to be building a lot of sites over the next few years. Elementor has a free plan, which has some limitations. Then there are the paid plans, which are all yearly subscriptions and limited by how many sites you can build with them. This is clearly not the cheaper option because you'll keep paying the subscription fee year after year and eventually pay more than DV's lifetime license anyways. Should you take Elementor's pricing as a deal breaker? I don't think so. You'll have to listen to my overall conclusion to understand why. Our overall scoring is quite close. This is exactly why this debate has been going on for a while. But I'm going to bring full clarity here now. Elementor is better than DV because people find its interface more flexible. Its SEO potential is better it has a larger library of templates and widgets, and its feature updates also release more frequently. On the other hand, DV is better than Elementor because people find its interface more structured to use, which is more convenient, it's slightly faster, and its lifetime unlimited license is very attractive. Comment below if you have any doubts about Elementor versus DV, and I'll help you out. See you next time.